So my name is Joseph Asunka. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Afrobarometer. My name is Marie-Antoinette Roscat. I'm the new CEO of the African Peer Review Mechanism. I am here at UDSIP today to, and this week to share some of the new findings that um, Afrobarometer is beginning to generate from our around 10 surveys. And we're also going to participate in meetings with the Africa Peer Review Mechanism leadership to discuss about now the future of the Africa Peer Review Mechanism. The African Peer Review Mechanism is an African Union organ whose core mandate uh, is uh, focused on uh, good governance across the continent. Basically conduct uh, country reviews um, on a voluntary basis in, uh, in our member states and based on these reviews then we provide recommendations in terms of uh, the establishments of standards and protocols and policies with regards to good governance. So in a very, in a very practical way, this is how we ensure that the recommendations are then implemented on the ground. Africans in general are committed to democratic governance and our data consistently show that all the components of you know, democratic governance, be it free and fair elections or rule of law, and these are you know, items or agendas that Africans are attached to. When it comes to satisfaction, that is why we have the problem. Most Africans are not satisfied with the way democracy works in their countries. And we've seen this has been a decline over time where people are gradually getting less and less of what they expect from their democratic governance. And we see that actually affecting their levels of satisfaction. And satisfaction is actually affected both by political factors and economic factors. Even in the context where people are not satisfied with the way democracy works, their commitment to the system of governance, democracy as a system of governance, is still very strong. People still prefer democracy to any other form of government. One of the key surprising um, emerging findings from the Afrobarometer actually relates to the African Union. We have been asking Africans about whether or not they think various institutions and external powers have an influence, a positive or negative influence in their countries. In 2012, the African Union was not even in the picture. People didn't know about it. But in the latest round of the surveys, at least the 15 countries where we have data, we realize that the African Union actually ranks very high in terms of its positive influence. And this is a big surprise to us because the African Union used not to be that known. It looks like now it is much more known and people feel like it is having a positive impact in their countries.